Au côté gauche, j'avais des douleurs atroces et j'ai pris donc des remèdes primaires, mais ça n'avait pas pu solutionner. Mais depuis le jeudi qui était arrivé ici, hier nuit, suite à la prière de l'homme de Dieu, j'ai reçu ma touche et maintenant je suis guéri. La douleur est partie. Gloire à Dieu Completely disappeared, and he told us that today he did some tests during the ministers' conference. He sits, he sit, he sat down, and he noticed that he was fine for a long time. He could not experience all the past pain in his rib cage, and he's here today. And he's saying, "Praise the Lord!" Gloire à Dieu. Praise the Lord. Ce que Dieu a fait pour eux. What God has done for them. Il le fera aussi pour vous. He will also do for you. Ici, maintenant même. Here and now. Et dans tous les lieux où la croisade se fait. And in all the places that the crusade is going on. Amen. Amen. Mais venir en retard. Quels que soient les défis que tu traverses, les vicissitudes, manifeste juste la foi et tu reverras s'accomplir. Ce que tu essaies ne marche pas. 
tu as prié, pleuré, tu as jeûné plusieurs fois. Et tu espères que ton nom sonnera le statut. Le statut, le statut, le ne peut pas être en jamais, jamais dans tes pensées. selon ta foi.
the Lord. The experiences of the last four days has proven once again that Christ Jesus indeed came to give us life and that in abundance. Tonight is another night of that experience of that power of God in our midst. As our Father in the Lord, Pastor Dr. William Kumuyi comes up with the power of the Lord to break every yoke, to loose every band, and to set the captive free. But before he comes up, join me to welcome our music minister for the evening, Luke Jingro. Yes, salutations à tous. Merci à nouveau de nous recevoir parmi vous. Nous sommes honorés de pouvoir élever le nom de Jésus. Est-ce qu'on peut l'acclamer tous ensemble, bien haut, bien fort, de tous nos cœurs? J'aimerais vous entendre crier « Hallelujah! » de tout votre cœur. Et aujourd'hui, c'est une joie pour nous d'être avec vous, de pouvoir célébrer le nom de Jésus. Nous voudrions remercier Dr. Kumouyi qui nous reçoit, et ainsi que toute son équipe. Et nous sommes ici pour vous dire qu'il y a de l'espoir. J'aimerais savoir combien ont besoin de voir Dieu agir dans leur vie. Si c'est votre cas, levez la main en ce moment et dites, « Je veux voir Dieu agir dans ma vie. » Et nous allons lui demander d'agir au nom de Jésus. Un, deux, trois, quatre... Allez, on tape des mains dans ce lieu. Un peu plus fort que ça. Tous ensemble. Dieu, je te prie de toucher à ces gens qui sont devant moi. Saint-Esprit, je te prie de glorifier Jésus, le roi des rois. Trinité bénie, agis en puissance comme au jour d'autrefois. Et pas tous ces gens, pas ta présence, qu'ils puissent aujourd'hui se tourner vers toi. Oh, agis, agis, agis au oh Dieu des aujourd'hui. Jésus par le Saint-Esprit, agis, oh agis, agis, agis au oh Dieu des aujourd'hui, oh agis, agis, Père glorifie Jésus par le Saint-Esprit. Jésus guérit les malades, accorde aussi la liberté. Délivre, je te prie, les captifs, libère aussi même les opprimés. Jésus, tu es la manière aujourd'hui pour l'éternité. Oh, C'est en toi, Jésus, que j'espère, à toi la gloire au ressuscité. À toi la gloire pour ressusciter, à toi la victoire pour l'éternité. Une autre fois, à toi la gloire, à toi la gloire pour ressusciter, à toi la victoire pour l'éternité. Brillant de lumière. Brillant de lumière, l'ange est descendu, il roule la pierre du tombeau vaincu. Vois le paraître, c'est lui, c'est Jésus, ton Seigneur, ton Maître, oh ne doute plus, à toi la gloire. À toi la gloire pour ressusciter, à toi la victoire pour l'éternité. Une autre fois, 
à toi la gloire, ô ressuscité, à toi la victoire pour l'éternité. Il est notre victoire, notre puissant soutien, notre vie, notre gloire. Nous ne craignons rien, il est notre victoire. Il est notre victoire, notre puissant soutien. Notre vie, notre gloire, nous ne craignons rien, nous ne craignons rien, nous ne craignons rien. Nous ne craignons rien, oh agis, agis. Agis au Dieu des aujourd'hui, oh agis, agis, glorifie Jésus par le Saint-Esprit, oh agis, agis, agis au Dieu des aujourd'hui, oh agis, agis, glorifie Jésus par le Saint-Esprit, agis, oh agis, agis. Agis au Dieu des aujourd'hui, oh agis, agis, glorifie Jésus par le Saint-Esprit, oh agis, agis, agis au Dieu des aujourd'hui, oh agis, agis, Père glorifie Jésus par le Saint-Esprit. Oh, agis, 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 je t'en supplie. Oh, agis, 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 agis. Oh, agis, agis, oh, agis, 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 oh, agis, agis, oh, agis. Yeah! Oh, qu'il est bon, qu'il est oh, merveilleux de pouvoir adorer le roi. Je change de guitare juste le temps de pouvoir. Il est écrit dans le psaume 29 que dans son palais, dans le palais du roi des rois, dans sa gloire, c'est écrit, tout s'écrit gloire. Et qu'est-ce que vous diriez que nous joignons nos voix à celle des séraphins, des chérubins, de tous les anges, et que nous glorifions le roi des rois, le seigneur des seigneurs, le Dieu vivant, le créateur des cieux et de la terre, chantant gloire. Je te suivrai tous les jours de ma vie. Je te suivrai tous les jours de ma vie. Chantez avec moi. Je te suivrai tous les jours de ma vie. Je te suivrai. Tous les jours de ma vie chantant, chantant gloire, gloire, chantant gloire, gloire. Je te poursuivrai tous les 
les jours de ma vie, je te poursuivrai. Tous les jours de ma vie, chantant, chantant gloire, gloire. Jusqu'au bout du monde Contre vents et contre marées Je te ferai connaître au monde Chantant, chantant gloire Gloire Chantant gloire Gloire Chantant, chantant Je m'y le vois pour te célébrer. Aucun neige sans m'y le vois pour te célébrer. Aucun neige, un million de voix pour te célébrer. Aucun neige, un zillion de voix pour te célébrer. Dans le ciel est semblable à toi. Qui donc dans le ciel est semblable à toi? Qui donc sur la terre est semblable à toi? Et qui dans l'univers est semblable à toi? Aucun autre nom que Jésus, 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 chantant gloire. Chantant gloire, gloire, chantant gloire, gloire. Mon Dieu est un Dieu puissant. Il règne. Mon Dieu est un Dieu puissant. Il règne. Revêtu de gloire et de majesté, il règne. Revêtu de gloire et de majesté, il règne. 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 Est un Dieu puissant. Il règne, mon Dieu. Est un Dieu puissant. Il règne, revêtu, revêtu de gloire et de majesté. Il règne, revêtu de gloire et de majesté. Il règne. Chantant gloire, gloire, chantant gloire, gloire. Oh, oh, oh. Élevez vos voix, louez-le maintenant.
Gloire à Dieu. Praise the Lord. Gloire à Dieu. Praise the Lord. Je vais appeler l'apôtre Chabi Raymond de l'église. Bon pâturage de venir nous présenter le promoteur de JCK et l'amener au podium pour ce soir. I want to invite Pastor Ramon to come and introduce the convener of JCK to us this evening. Gloire à Dieu! Praise the Lord! Gloire à Dieu! Praise the Lord! Nous bénissons le nom de notre grand Dieu. We bless the name of our great God. Le Togo est sur le tel du feu de l'Éternel. Togo is on the altar of the fire of the Lord. Et depuis cinq jours. And since five days. Nous vivons un temps des apôtres. We are living in the days of the apostles. Et leur attendu est arrivé. And their expectations has happened. Le père des pères. The earth of earth. L'apôtre des apôtres. The apostle of apostles. Le prophète des prophètes. The prophet of prophets. Le pasteur des pasteurs. The pastor of pastors. Est-ce que vous pouvez m'aider à l'accueillir? Can you help me to welcome him? Notre père dans la foi. Our father in the faith. Docteur pasteur Kumoyi. Pastor Doctor Kumoyi. Acclamez le Seigneur. Clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Merci beaucoup. Praise the Lord. A special evening today. Merveilleux. A special marvelous evening today. In your life, in your family, Togo is blessed. It's wonderful to be Togolese. Because the power of God has come to us in Togo. And from Togo here to the rest of the world. Togo is a blessing to the world. If you are Togolese here tonight, where are you? You will be a blessing to the world. Coach Philemon, is the man. Father, we well, thank you. We well, bless your name. What a great, marvelous God you are. You have been working specially every day. For second, third, and fourth days. Today, on this fifth day. The day of faith. The day of power, the day of grace. Lord, I pray that your mighty power will get to everyone in Jesus' name. And the joy of the Lord will fill every heart. Salvation for everyone. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for everyone total redemption for everyone. Bless us here in Togo and let the blessings flow from Togo to everywhere in the world today. Thank you, Lord, for the answer. In Jesus' name we pray. God has blessed you. You can sit down. Remember, we are here for abundant life. We are here because we are connected with the source of abundant life. We are connected with God in heaven, the eternal God who lives forever. When we connect with him, he gives us his life. We are connected with Christ. The one who died on the cross, he 
gave up his life that she might have his life. The very Son of God, the Son of God, became the Son of Man, that the sons of men may become the sons of God. Have you seen him? It, let me illustrate like this. It lets you have a rope. He holds that end. And then you hold the other end of the rope. And then that rope was coming down. And the end of his rope touched the end of your rope. And then he pulls you up to where he came from. When that circle is complete. Before the circle was complete, you were on that side of the road. He was on that side of the road. But he came. And he came to you. And the end of his rope connected with the end of your rope. And the rope made a circle. And then he takes you to heaven. And the joy that comes when he pulls you up. The joy that comes when he takes you to his own joy. The joy unspeakable. The joy inexhaustible, the joy unsearchable, so deep, so wide, so high, that every day of your life, the joy of the Lord becomes your strength. That the joy I'm talking about tonight, personal joy. Present joy, peculiar joy, perpetual joy, joy in your soul, joy in your spirit, joy in your mind, and even all the elements and all the cells in your body, they have that joy coming from heaven to you there tonight. I'm talking to you on the joy of perpetual, abundant life through Christ. The joy of perpetual, abundant life through Christ. You will have yours. I have mine. You will have yours. In your soul. In your spirit. In your mind. In your body, joy, 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 joy. I'm looking at Psalm 105, verse 43. Psalm 105, verse 43. And he brought forth his people with joy. And is chosen with gladness. Look at those people that were reading about. I see them under the burden. I see them under a yoke. I see them in sorrow. I see them in suffering. I see them in sickness. And now God came to them. It's your own story too. The story of being tormented. The story of being under a yoke. The story in sorrow. The story in suffering. And the story in sickness. And then tonight, Christ comes to you. Tonight. Tonight, Christ comes to you. All your suffering, he'll take away. All your sorrow, he'll take away. 
all your sickness will take away it'll break every bondage in your life it will totally shatter and scatter all the works of the devil in your life if you never smiled if you never laughed if there was no joy joy has come today the joy we have in Christ the joy we have in conversion the joy we have in total kill the joy of a perpetual abundant life through Christ he will give you that joy there are three things we're looking at number one the present joy of salvation or righteousness number two the peculiar joy of the sick with total recovery that all the all the sicknesses you have everything vanishes away and you have that peculiar joy personal to you you know what you are going through and you know the depression that came on you I am sick I cannot sleep I feel pain there is no ease at all any part of my body all of a sudden Christ the healer comes to you and Christ the healer kills you and Christ the healer turns everything around in your life and you have joy that other people cannot understand peculiar joy because for many days you've been living with pain and play but now all pain is gone all plague is gone all problems are gone the joy you have nobody else can tell is the peculiar joy of the sick now that he has total recovery personal present joy personal peculiar joy number three is the peculiar is the perpetual joy of saints at his return you have had joy on earth you will have joy in heaven perpetual perfect forever eternal ever and ever at that time no tears will ever come to your face no anxiety and no worry will ever come to your mind and there is no harassment of the devil in the world that will ever come to you I can see you with my eyes of faith and I see you walking on the streets of heaven and then you look back and say, oh, Pastor, you are here too. And then our joy will know no end in Jesus' name. Personal perpetual joy of saints at his return. <coughs> Number one. Number one is the present personal joy of salvation with righteousness. I'm looking at Psalm 51. How does somebody have real joy? Be rich? No, that doesn't bring joy. Have a great position? That doesn't bring joy. Have a good wife. That doesn't mean perpetual joy. Have many, many children with your name on them. 
that doesn't bring joy have an important position in the government of your country that doesn't bring the joy I'm talking about I bring you David the king I bring you David the number one in his country Did he have the kind of joy I'm talking about now? Let's hear him. He said in Psalm 51 verse 5, Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. And then in verse 6, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward part, and in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. He said, Thou desirest truth in the inward parts. He didn't eat up the truth and truthfulness in his inward parts. Thou shalt make me to have to know wisdom. He didn't have that wisdom that will keep him away from anything that will distract his life, derange his life, destroy his life. Then in verse 7, it says, Purge me with Esau and I shall be clean. It was saying, I am unclean. I am unrighteous. It's unfortunate for me, the life I'm living. He said, that's why I don't have joy. Then he said, wash me and I shall be whiter than snow. He said, I am a king. I have great position. My position does not even make me as white as snow. My privilege on earth did not make me retain the whiter than snow nature. And my, jo my joy is not full. I look at my life, my joy is not full. I look at my uncleanness, my joy is not full. I look at my inconsistencies and my joy is not full. Sometimes up, sometimes down. Sometimes moving forward, sometimes retrogressing. Sometimes I'm fast and the other time I'm just down, pinched down. And he said, because of the inconsistency in my life, up and down, to and fro, my joy is not full. He said, that is why I come today. And I'm saying, purge me, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. It, look at verse 8. It says, make me to hear joy and gladness. You are the only one that can do it. You are the only one that can do it. My position in life cannot do it. My riches in life cannot do it. My at my interactions and the people I know, they cannot do it. He said, you are the one that can make me know and hear and experience joy and gladness. That the bones which thou hast broken may rejoice. My bones are broken. I feel the pain of broken bones. And so uh, the pain of that broken bone uh, caused my attention to the pain all the time. I don't have joy. 
my spirit man, my inner man, as a kind of bones. And when the bones are all right, and I have a backbone to stand, when the bones are all right, and I stand firm, I have joy. But now the bones of my spirit man, inner man, they are broken. I don't have any joy. That's what, that's what happens in our lives. We have broken bones in our body. We have broken bones in our inner man. We have broken bones in our spirit man. We have broken bones in our mind. Because of that, we don't have joy and gladness. And your wife asks you, you're not looking happy. Any problem? Boko no problem. Many, many problems. And your neighbors look at you. <laughs> uh, if I have what you have, I will be joyful and glad and happy. That is what we think. If I have the car he has, I'll be joyful and happy. Ask the car owners. For the first day when the car came, happy. After some weeks and months, the happiness is gone. The car, the property, the land, the house, the material things do not give us permanent joy and gladness. And now in verse 9, it tells us in verse 9, hide thy face from my sins. The man said, the reason I don't have joy, I have seen in my life, and I see God looking at my sin every time. He looks at me, he looks at my sins. He looks at you, and you see the power of sin dragging you to the pit. He looks at you, and he looks at the pollution and the defilement of your sin, making you dirty all over your inner man. He looks at you. He sees the presence of sin that had not been dealt with. You see, it's a king. Uh -uh, it's a sinner. It's a professional. It's a sinner. It's a husband. He is a sinner. He's a wife. She's a wife. She is a sinner. She is a person that has a lot of her words in the world. He is a sinner. And David knew that God was looking at his sins all the time. And he knows how God thinks of that incorrigible sinner. That habitual sinner, that uncommon sinner. He says, God, will you please hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities? That's only the time you'll have the joy and the gladness. Then in verse 10, create in me a clean heart, O oh God. David says, even though I'm a king, I don't have a clean heart. You need to create in me a clean heart. He says, everything I look at, they come through the window of my eyes. They get into my heart. 
they make me feel unclean feel defiled feel feel the unclean defiled feel the having a lot of death on my in my life I know it I feel it and every time I think about my life and I see that uncleanness I ask myself how could you be a religious man as you are and yet remain unclean and defiled? And so he pushed everything aside and he said, create in me now, now, today. I don't want to keep on feeling unclean, defiled and dirty before you. Today, today, create in me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. Uh, that, that's what, why we're here. That's the only thing that will give us that personal, present joy. When all our sins are washed away, when all our sins are blotted out, when we have a clean pathway unto the glorious God of heaven, create in me. You know, as a king, a king is a judge. Looking at other people, you are not clean. And it can punish them. You are criminal. And it can send them to prison. He said, well, I leave all that alone now. Criticizing other people. Condemning other people. Trying to correct other people. He said, I want to concentrate on my own personal situation tonight. Me. Me, creating me a clean heart, O oh God, and renew a right spirit within me. The man is saying, what caused my problem is I don't have a right spirit inside me. When I saw Urias, fighting for the nation i didn't have a right spirit towards him when i saw bathsheba and i look at her beautiful body my heart went astray and i didn't have a right spirit within me towards her all the people around when i see them i have a private agenda of what to do i have a private agenda to take their wives i have their the private agenda to brush out and to kick away their husband so i can have their wives When I, when I look at people, I want to take advantage of them. I want to pull them down so that I can be up. I want to make them nothing so that I can be everything. I see now that's the problem I have. That's why I don't have the present and personal joy. And Lord, I cannot do it by myself. I want all those things in my life that has brought the sadness and the sorrow and that will bring eternal suffering. If I don't deal with that, create in me a new heart, a clean heart, oh God. And 
renew a right spirit within me. And now look at verse 11. It says, cast me not away from thy presence. As a king, I know. If a criminal had been in my palace, and now it is proved that that is a criminal. I know as a king, if my citizens, my subjects, if they want, if they come to me and report a man in my palace to me, and they say, this man in your palace killed this woman's husband. This man in your palace has now taken that woman and they are living together after he killed the husband. <clears throat> As a king, I know. I will drive that criminal out of my palace. It says, God, you're the king of kings. And the angels report me to you. <clears throat> that this is what I have done. I hurt the man. I silenced the man. I buried the man. So that I can do whatever I want with his wife. As a king, I know what the king will do. You will cast me away from your presence, from your palace. Please, God. Please, God. Forgive me. I'm a criminal. I'm a sinner. I am dirty. I am defiled. Cast me not away from thy presence. Take not thy Holy Spirit from me. If I'm separated from the Holy Spirit, I'm gone, I'm dead, I'm ruined, I'm tormented forever. Look at verse 12 there. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. The joy of salvation does not abide with cruelty, with violence, with deception, with lying, with stealing, with hurting other people. Restore unto me. I don't have it now. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. And that's why we're here tonight, that the joy of salvation, the joy of repentance, the joy of redemption, the joy of forgiveness and freedom will be restored unto us. Tonight, as we come sincerely, tonight, as we come wholeheartedly before God and you confess and you forsake and you throw away all the means of committing sin in your life you confess the sin you forsake the sin and the rope that normally draws the sea towards you, you throw that rope away. The mode of bringing that sea your way, you also take away.